I'm Gary Seegers. Catch me on Twitter at GaryWCE. And I'm Chris Giannini. Follow me at Chris B. Giannini. And this is the Winning Cures Everything podcast from winningcureseverything.com. Up to kick the ball off first, and we are ready to go. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. And they make the stop at about the 35. He gets another set of downs and more importantly, opens up a whole host of play calling possibilities for the coaching staff. on any yardage. That'll bring up second and three. Makes it to the 44. What a run. Here they give it to the tailback and a little misdirection play, and you can see the athleticism and the ability to make guys miss. Nice play. Dangerous throw. This one's picked off. He's at the 30. To the 10. Touchdown, Golden Gophers. How about the play by the defender? That was a great interception and an even better effort to bring the ball back for a touchdown. Splits the uprights with the extra point. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. So the offense will come back out onto the field, hoping for a little better result than that last pick six. This quarterback needs to be a little bit more careful because this defense is excellent on capitalizing off the mistakes. Throws a bullet over the middle. That makes it second and two. Throws and it's incomplete. The pass was right on target, so that took a perfectly timed hard hit to knock it free. Strong defense to deny the completion. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. He fights forward to about the 36. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Nice run up the middle. Carries the ball for a nice game. Good for a game of six yards. First down. Hand off inside. He makes it to the 48 yard line. Defender playing the ball, keeping his balance, and getting in the way of that pass. We're at play number nine of this current drive. Brad, I 
just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. This one will go into the end zone and they'll bring it out to the 20. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. Minnesota up seven points. Set, down. Blue 42. Blue 42. He fights forward to about the 23. That'll make it second to seven. He lets it go. He's knocked out immediately after the catch. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. Hand off, and he's met in the backfield. The defense got a great push and blew that play up well behind the line of scrimmage. That'll bring up second and 15. Second down, 15 to go. Ball on the 39-yard line. Ready! Black and five! Run, run, run. Gets to about the 41-yard line. He chucks it downfield. The defender had his hands on it, but it's incomplete. You never know what will happen when the ball ricochets like that. Good effort by the defender. Crawford awaits the snap. He's out to the 30. He makes it out to maybe the 30-yard line. Golden Gophers have found a way to shut this offense down, but hey, it's still early in a football game. Yeah, give them a lot of credit for the way they've played up to this point, but just based on watching these teams and preparing for this game, do not be surprised to see this offense eventually find itself and start to execute much better. And he's taken down at about the 43-yard line. Number 23 makes the set goal. He's tackled at about the 47 yard line. Call it a gain of 10 yards. That makes it first and 10. And that one's incomplete. Second and 10. Ball on the 47-yard line. They go with the screen here, and the halfback's got it. And he's tackled at the 27. The screen play worked that time for a decent pickup. Yep, you're right. Excellent call to go to the screen to maybe slow down this defensive pass rush a little bit. Now he's scrambling. Decides to slide. That makes it second and six. Brought down at the 13-yard line. And he's stopped behind the line. They'll lose a yard on that quarterback keeper. Second as well coming up here. Ball on the 14-yard line. made at the 14-yard line. And the halfback's got nowhere to go. Gets 
gets it. He's in space. Out of bounds at the 10-yard line. This one should be makeable. The Wolverines saw one of their key guys go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to get back in the action. It's up, and it is good. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding him to a field goal right there. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. You know, a lot of people in college football might find these types of games boring, but if you look at the start of this game, this is good old-fashioned football, partner. I agree with you, Brad. I think sometimes you look at games, and if it's sloppy offense, that's one thing. But when you see two defenses go out and play with a great deal of emotion and dominate a football game, sign me up for that every time. Minnesota holds a four-point lead. And he makes it out to about the 27-yard line. That's a game of two on the play. That makes it second and eight. A tight, low-scoring game in that first 15 minutes. Let's see if things open up in the second quarter. The Golden Gophers lead it by four. Hey, welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. Please, but he can't shake the defense. a run all the way and got a good jump once he got there he wasn't about to let him slip away either from their own 38 yard line it's second down so an empty backfield with five wide receivers he wants it all going long great concentration to pull it in and a huge touchdown play the PAT. A five-play, 76-yard drive, and the result, seven points. Brad, I thought that was a textbook throw. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. Wilson from the two. He's tackled at the 27-yard line. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. And he just gets rid of it. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. From their own 27-yard line, second down. Taken down at the 36. Makes the reception. Number 16 on the tackle at the 36 yard line. That will make it third and one. Caught open field. They'll bring him down at the 47 yard line. He is such a reliable target. You throw it anywhere near him, and this guy's going to get his hands on it and make a catch. He heaves it deep. Can't connect. From the 47-yard line, second down.
Third and long here, and they hope to convert another one and keep this drive going. Got it, and brought down immediately. There's a player down. I'm not sure what happened. Wiley, the return man. Booming kick. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. He's out to the 30. He's to the 40. He steps out around the 46-yard line. Bring him down behind the line. Behind the line. Loss of two on the play. That'll bring up second and 12. From the 48 yard line, it's second down. Caught and up for the first down. Tackle at about the 25 yard line. and he's got his man and they make the stop right around the 20. That brings him second and five. The halfback with a carry. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. Loss is one on the play. Third down. Catch there before he stepped out of bounds. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 13. The Wolverines wide receiver down there on the sideline. Looks like he's warming up. Good to see that he might be able to get back in this game. Complete. He's got room. He goes out of bounds at the 8. This is the eighth play of this drive. down. This should be an easy field goal. The kick is up, and he's got it. They line up to kick this one away. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He's to the 20, at the 30. And he's finally taken down at the 49. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. Throws this one out to the right. So it's second and ten. Ball on their own 49. Pulls it in and he's in the open field. And he's taken down around the 43-yard line. Very solid gain through the air. 
I'm impressed with the poise of this quarterback and the ability of the receiver to keep his concentration and get his hands on the football. And they get nice yardage on that run. So he got a few yards on that carry. If you can continue to pick up small chunks of yards like that, you can really start to wear a defense down. He's got it with room to run. He's at the 30. He's tackled around the 22-yard line. That's good for a gain of 17 yards. That makes it first and 10. Fires it out. And he's tackled right around the 12-yard line. Number 13 brings him down at the 12-yard line. That line is second in inches. So it's third down, and they're just inches away from picking up the first down. And a man open touchdown. That was a well-drawn up play for the wideout. Yeah, they saw something upstairs. It led to a touchdown. You can thank the play calling there. Very impressive. And he converts the extra point. Michigan, the kick. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Minnesota is up seven. Steps out of bounds around the 29-yard line. Second and six coming up here. Ball on their own 29. They come out in a five-wide set. And he makes it out to about the 31-yard line. The running back gets two on the carry. Minnesota's going to take their first time out of the half. Looks for his running back incomplete. Potts is the intended receiver on the play. That makes it fourth and four. Bell is back deep to return. made at the 39. The offense really came up with a nice drive there last time out, and most of those yards came through the air. This defense needs to improve from front to back. The line needs to put more pressure on the quarterback, and the defensive backs need to stick it to these receivers with tighter coverage. And this one falls incomplete. A great first half comes to a close. 17-10. Golden Gophers. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Bruce Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. What a terrific first half. This is everything we anticipated this game being. And we're going to be riveted to this game, I feel like, David, in the second half, anticipating a terrific finish. It's, it's fun. It's, it's, it's living up to the hype every single time. We can't even turn the channel here. We got it on the big screen, on the big 60-inch. Yes, it's quite nice, by the way, too. The weather's nice and warm. It's beautiful. Got some chips. We're opening them up a little bit. But great game, living up to the hype. It definitely feels like both teams are evenly matched. It feels like it can go either way. It feels like it's going to come down to the wire. And the only thing I hope it doesn't come down to is a kicker. Please don't come down to a kick in the end. Both these teams playing great D, playing great O, you know, physical, you know, pounding on each other, making big plays. Don't come down to a finesse kick by like a soccer player, please. Just about time to start the second half. What, what do you think Herbstreit's first point of analysis will be? 
Uh, I don't know, something to do with quarterback play, I'm sure. We always got to hear that stuff all the time. It's all about the quarterbacks. Brad and Kirk ready for the second half. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set for the second half. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. Minnesota is up by a touchdown. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. They'll spread the field with five wide. Tackle after a decent run up the gun. That's a six-yard gain on the run for the tailback there. Troll plays work best when the offense has had success throwing the football. The defense isn't expecting run. When that delayed handoff happens, they're nowhere near the action. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Catches it, and he's looking for more. Brought down around the 49-yard line. Looks left, intercepted. He's at the 30 to the 20, the 10. And he scores. Touchdown. Great job here by the defender breaking on the ball and taking it to the house. Man, those pick sixes can really hurt an offense and have a lasting impact. They'll line up for the extra point in an attempt to tie the game. And he adds the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. So the offense will come back out onto the field, hoping for a little better result than that last pick six. Brad, these guys need to make a big play to regain the confidence and regain the momentum. They've got to come up with a couple first downs after that last possession where they turned it over and gave up the point. quarterback needs to give his playmakers a chance to make plays. He's got to be sure he gets the ball in their hands. From their own 29-yard line, third down. Ready! Once and all, going deep. Incomplete. Almost picked off. Number seven, the intended receiver of the play. That'll make it fourth and six. Crawford is the punter. He's to the 40. He gets out to about the 42-yard line. Time's getting a little bit tighter now. you got to make every possession count. made at the 43 yard line that's a gain of 15 on the ball first down check right check right check right they'll make the sack They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. Now 
Now he tries to buy some time. And down he goes around the 41 yard line. Michigan is looking to go up by three. Kicks up. No good. He missed it to the right. A lot of times you'll see teams start to clinch up a little bit when games stay close well into the second half. You need to stay loose, keep doing what you've been doing all week in practice, and execute when it's time. Flips it, middle to the running back. He's taken down at the 41. <laughs> Tries to fit it in there and it'll be intercepted. He came up with a fantastic interception there. Well, you know the quarterback is kicking himself for that one. He just made the wrong read. First and ten. Ball on the 39-yard line. man quick strike and he can't pull it in now the quarterback has to be careful here not to leave his receiver so vulnerable like that he took a licking right there and he tackles him hard at the 49 that's a deal 12 on the play that makes it first and 10 And he's brought down quickly. Number 23 brings him down at the 44 yard line. That brings him second and five. Haskins on the inside handoff. He fights forward to about the 43. He's scrambling. Quarterback's going to run it, and he's got room to work. Slides down. That's good for a game of 15 yards. First down. Strike to his receiver. No good. And this play is number eight on the drive. Bring him down at the 12. Fires a laser touchdown. by the receiver for the touchdown. Anytime you're near the red zone, you got to keep an eye for this guy. They love going to him down here. And it takes some real accuracy on those deep corner routes. So kudos to the quarterback. He splits the uprights with the extra point. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Wolverines continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Ready? Green, 88. And he carries the ball for a nice game. And he's 
tackle after positive yardage. He makes it out to maybe the 46-yard line. That's good for gaining three yards. That'll make it second and seven. Let's go! Easy, easy, easy! Bing, right! Bing, right! Makes the catch and look out. Quick strike to the receiver. And they make the stop right around the 46-yard line. the 35. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 35-yard line. And he just gets rid of it. Here's the eighth play of the series. this one out to the left. Boy, a golden opportunity missed by the defense. That was a sure interception only to be dropped. And so it's another third down upcoming here. They come out on an empty backfield. Ready! Quick toss. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Receiver touchdown. Will be tied with the extra point. And he tacks on the extra point. Minnesota ready to kick this one off. And he got all of this one. Great kick. He's to the 20. The Golden Gophers coaching staff's got to be elated over on the sideline about what they plan to do with this wide receiver and the plans coming to fruition. Absolutely, and they continue to be able to find ways to give him the football. That's the thing that's been probably most impressive, not just his ability, but how they've moved him around and got the football to him in different ways. It makes it very tough on the defense. So at the end of the third quarter, we get a tie game here, knotted at 24. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. Caught out in the open, and he shoved out of bounds right around the 40. That makes it first and 10. He's tackled at the 49-yard line. That's good for a game. That brings up second and one. And he's tackled at the 48-yard line. Call it a game of three yards. First down. He was tackled immediately. From their own 49-yard line, it's second down. He makes it out to maybe the 49-yard line.
his man. First down. That's a game of 13 on the play. First down. Gets to about the 34-yard line. We're at play number nine of this current drive. Throws incomplete. They got a hand on it. He was able to just tip that one away right out of the receiver's reach. Third down now, and they need to get it to the 26. This one's going deep to the end zone. The kick is away. It's long enough. And he got it. Michigan lines up for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. it to the 47. That makes it second and two. And he just gets rid of it. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. Throws out and through his hands. Number seven was the intended receiver. So they're going to go for it here. Less than three minutes in the game. Gets out to about the 44-yard line. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. And he makes it out to about the 41-yard line. Second 
It's the 11th play of the drive. 26, Mike. 26, Mike. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. I think he could have taken a risk down the field, but he played it safe instead, and that's one of the keys to winning ball games. That makes us third and goal. And he stopped behind the line. Loss of two yards on the play. That brings us fourth and goal. It's fourth down. This one should be makeable. He gets it up, and it's good. This game seems to get better and better with every play. These guys are really leaving it all out on the field tonight. They line up to kick this one away. He just drills this one. We're late in the fourth quarter. Great game. A tied football game. And the question now is, who's going to rise to the occasion? Short over the middle. And he hits him hard at the 40. He's on the run. He's at midfield. Tackle made at about the 49. That's good for a gain of 11 yards. That makes it first and 10. Fires it out. And he's level at the 46. Nothing going on that play. Well, here I think the quarterback needs to be a little bit more patient in the pocket. That way he can allow his receivers to get downfield a little bit before he throws them. somebody to step up and make a play and boy did the defense come through now they've got a chance to take the lead that was huge it's first and ten ball on the 44 this looks like their last shot to get it to the end zone fun folks but we're not done yet because this game is heading to overtime and here we are we played four quarters and we still don't have a winner so we go to overtime they come out in a five wide set Yard line. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Got a man complete. He's hit hard. It's second and five here. Ball on the eight. Down he goes, around the six-yard line. That's a gain of two on the play. That makes it third and three. once you get to overtime, and this was a really big score. These guys have taken charge, and now it's their game to win. And he converts the extra point.
First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 25-yard line. And that one's incomplete. And there wasn't anyone in the vicinity. I think the ball just slipped out on him. Run up the middle. That's good for a game of five yards. Third and nine. It's third and five. Ball on the 20. They'll make the sack. A great defensive end in college football just pins his ears back and has, again, that extra instinct to know when to jump the snap count, when to take a chance on third down. And it seems like they almost save their extra pass rush and extra incentive as far as their, their energy when it really matters on a third down when they feel like they can beat that offensive tackle and get off the line of scrimmage a little bit quicker. And that's something that I think we've seen him do throughout this game. He's taken down at the three-yard line. That's a two -yard line. Left, left. That makes it first and goal. the ball and it's picked up by one of the linemen. They'll bring him down right around the 12 yard line. We've got second and goal. Ball on the 12. Tackles him hard at the three. Makes the catch. Number 27 brings him down at the three yard line. That makes it third and goal. Grabs a pitch looking for the corner. He's gobbled up in the backfield. More plays like this, and the coaching staff is going to need to change up the blocking scheme. You can't allow the defense to play in your backfield. It's fourth down, and they need six to keep the game alive. Quick strike, tight end, and that's a touchdown. So with their backs against the wall, they find a way. Get ready for another overtime, folks. There is nothing more exciting than watching four down football in overtime. What a game today. Here comes the kicker to try to tie this game up. And he adds the extra point. Well, this is why I love the overtime rules in college football. Both teams had a fair shot at it, and they'll get another opportunity to try it again. From the 25-yard line, first down. He zips it out to the left. Picked off. It's the quarterback. Personal foul. Face That penalty drives them back, and they're shooting themselves in the foot here. Well, they can just keep their concentration. They'll avoid situations like that. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 25. Ready! Green and eight! Green! <laughs> got it! Complete. He's out of bounds. I'd give the game ball to the whole defense. Their performance in the first series of the second overtime was just huge. 
allowing zero points in the second overtime really made things easier for their offense. So, Kirk, how would you sum up the action of this one? You just can't underestimate a team when they're your rival, and today's game proved that. And nothing stings more than losing to the one team you want to beat in overtime. That's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon.